thanks to everyone for uh, this invitation. I'm very glad to to be part of this uh, municipalist school. Um, uh, I think it's a, a very interesting and uh, relevant uh, theme, that of uh, regenerative uh, economies, and it's a theme that is really at the center of uh, local debates uh, in uh, in Naples. Uh, I'm now speaking from uh, a place, a, a small uh, piazza, uh, where uh, with uh, some uh, comrades, uh, uh, activists uh, involved in the anti-touristification campaign. Uh, of course, during the pandemic, we have stopped uh, uh, doing things relating uh, to over-tourism and uh, uh, touristification issues. Uh, I will get back to, to this, but, uh, so, but we have not stopped uh, doing activism. And uh, here there is uh, a building, perhaps you can uh, see it. It's a, it's a beautiful uh, uh, Renaissance building called Palazzo Pin, which has been uh, abandoned for uh, uh, nearly two decades or uh, even more now. There, there is actually one uh, last dweller, an uh, old woman uh, who was born here and she still lives there. Uh, and uh, um, there is a renovation plan uh, by the, the regional government and we are kind of uh, asking for more participatory uh, uh, framework uh, for the uh, reconversion and the reuse uh, and the restoration of this building. So this uh, uh, small struggle is going on now for uh, a few years uh, over the regeneration of this uh, uh, Renaissance building that is one of the most ancient, uh, the oldest uh, buildings and it's really uh, especially the facade is really uh, impressive, but uh, still now it's a very deteriorated condition. And so we are asking for a more participatory approach to the renovation of this building, which is uh, publicly owned by the regional administration. But uh, we, we contest the fact that uh, the regional administration has uh, uh, delegated the, the uh, University Department of Architecture to turn this building into a, a, a museum for uh, architecture and design. We think that uh, 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 this kind of uh, uh, use will, uh, like a uh, uh, museify, we say, will kind of, uh, 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 will, would not be uh, useful and relevant for the local uh, community. So we think that uh, we, we are proposing other uh, uses, like turning this building into a civic library or into a place for, uh, for kids uh, to play and for people, for local people uh, to, to meet. Because uh, in this uh, uh, area, historic center of Naples, contrary to uh, city centers, historical city centers uh, uh, across Europe, especially in uh, Western Europe, the historical uh, city center in Naples uh, is still inhabited by low income uh, communities. It's very socially mixed. So, anti so uh, touristification processes have been uh, uh, threatening this kind of uh, social mix, this kind of really socially embedded uh, uh, mixture of, uh, of communities within uh, this area. So we are struggling to preserve uh, uh, this area from being gentrified. But at the same time, we think that uh, in order to, to give a future to this area, we have to work hard uh, and to find alternative economic practices that are suitable for the, the, the needs uh, uh, of uh, local uh, uh, city dwellers. So the reconversion of this building is uh, one example, but there are also other uh, activities that are going on uh, uh, in the sense of uh, making this uh, area uh, more responsive to the needs of uh, the local community. Uh, with the pandemic, uh, uh, there has been uh, uh, a, a major uh, crisis afflicting uh, uh, local shops, local businesses. So this is a kind of uh, very tricky issue now nowadays because uh, uh, this area was uh, uh, commercially revitalized by the influx of tourists in previous years, especially in the last 10 years. But the pandemic has showed how this kind of uh, economic revitalization or economic uh, revamping of this area was uh, very illusory or very uh, vulnerable. Uh, so 
many shops and uh, uh, local businesses uh, who were in a way thriving or uh, kind of uh, making uh, their living out of the uh, influx of tourists. Uh, now they, they don't have a, a source of income. So there have been uh, interestingly uh, 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 there is a local shop owner who is uh, uh, part of our anti-touristification process um, the project. Uh, she owns a, a small restaurant. She she has taken the, the lead in uh, some uh, crowdsourcing initiatives uh, in order to support uh, uh, local shops and. Uh, uh, and especially small restaurants that are uh, currently in crisis. And this crowdsourcing uh, is, uh, is now still a relatively small initiative. That, uh, like, uh, like four or five uh, shops have been involved, but uh, it's working very well. There, there is a lot of uh, enthusiasm uh, around uh, uh, this kind of crowdsourcing uh, at the community uh, level. So uh, these uh, small shops have managed to, to survive and to collect money in order to, to get out of this very uh, uh, tricky uh, moment. Uh, so we are in a, in a, a very specific, uh, like many other places or like everywhere perhaps uh, across the world, but I think uh, places that have been, uh, have become very the tourism dependent in, uh, in the last few years uh, uh, are in a very tricky position uh, 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 because I mean this area the historical center of Naples was traditionally a, an area uh, rich not only with uh, different uh, communities in, ter in terms of uh, income but also with a lot of uh, local economic activities so there was a tradition of uh, artisans uh, and uh, local shops. Uh, the, 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 there was uh, a, a street entirely dedicated to musical instruments, for instance. Uh, that was the, uh, the the biggest music hub, uh, uh, musical instruments hub, in, in in the in the south of Italy, and, uh, and 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 now many local shops have been replaced. Not now, but in the last ten years have been replaced with this kind of uh, tourist-oriented uh, uh, economic activities. And uh, especially there, there, is, there has been a proliferation of, uh, of bars, of uh, cafes. So the, the kind of economic landscape of this area has been uh, changing a lot. At the same time, even uh, these activities that, are, uh, that were, until uh, one year ago at least, uh, that were kind of uh, tourist oriented or uh, or were uh, oriented towards nightlife which is a, which has been a kind of new thing over the last five ten years as well uh, even uh, these activities have to survive now these are still locally owned so there are not uh, at least at the moment uh, uh, major economic investors uh, involved. Uh, this kind of uh, retail trade activities are still locally owned. So we think that, uh, despite the fact that they were uh, created uh, as oriented towards tourism, I think we we think that uh, uh, as a collective dealing with the uh, uh, touristification, we have to in a way support the people who work there, the, the people who, who run the, the, this activity. It may sound a, a bit uh, uh, ironic in, in a way, but uh, it, it, uh, it is something that we have to do because we, we want to create a sense of community within the neighborhood and creating a sense of community entails uh, 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 getting involved uh, different people who live here. Uh, people uh, who, li who have been uh, uh, living here for ages, like long-term residents, but also new newcomers, like the people who work or who, who run uh, this uh, uh, activity. Um, uh, so this is basically the, the, the situation. I think that uh, what is really interesting and can have a potential is this kind of uh, crowdsourcing experiment that can uh, lead uh, to association or uh, some some kind of uh, community 
so it's uh, this uh, mutual aid for uh, struggling economic activities, creating a mutual aid uh, on a permanent basis, is uh, uh, the 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 the, uh, the goal of these uh, initiatives that is now more based on temporary help support uh, uh, through these crowdsourcing uh, uh, initiatives. Okay. Uh, so this is basically what is going on in this uh, in this area that is uh, kind of uh, transitioning uh, towards uh, uh, something new we don't know whether there will be again uh, that kind of international tourism that we observed uh, in, uh, in the in the last years so it's a kind of uh, uh, tricky, but at the same time, also in, in some respects, also an exciting transition moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah alternative economic practice. Uh, we are also involved in a community center and self in a formal community center. Uh, it's called Santa Fe Deliberata, and uh, along with also uh, some uh, local restaurants, uh, we support. Uh, we organize a, a, a mensa for uh, homeless people. Uh, uh, so uh, I think uh, providing the livelihood for this kind of uh, homeless people is also a, a kind of uh, alternative economic uh, uh, practice. Uh, uh, so we want to, to get involved these uh, homeless people within these uh, community uh, experiments. Uh, uh, regard uh, this kind of alternative economic practice that we have in, uh, in mind, or also uh, when I was uh, referring to the to the regeneration, to the uh, uh, restoration of this historical uh, building, uh, also uh, creating uh, a, a new kind of uh, 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 public place, uh, which is. Yeah, it's not uh, strictly economic uh, practice, but it's uh, creating public value within a, a neighborhood, within an area in which there has been, as you said, only uh, um, economic extractivism. So we want to shift from uh, uh, value extraction to, to value creation and possibly public value creation, creating new public places for, for local uh, people. So from action to value creation for for the for those more in need like homeless people, but also for local uh, uh, residents. Um, and uh, in this uh, with uh, in this uh, campaign on uh, on this building, we are also we have also brought a, a, a kind of a loose alliance with the the, the local uh, municipal council, which is kind of neighborhood assembly. Which is below the the tire of the local government, and so uh, we have uh, in, in Naples something that I didn't mention. Uh, uh, in the past ten years, uh, Naples has been uh, quite uh, uh, an interesting experiment for municipalist politics at the municipal uh, level, but also at uh, lower tires like this uh, district uh, municipal uh, level I was referring to. There is now a new kind of uh, sensitivity to the fact of uh, the, the need for uh, public space, the need for citizen engagement, the need, the need for more participatory uh, frameworks. And uh, this idea I was uh, uh, suggesting of uh, mutual aid, for us it's a, it's a, a kind of ambition now. We, have, uh, we are uh, working on uh, constituting a, a, a social committee dedicated to to this kind of goal of creating a mutual aid on a permanent basis. Uh, we have been also in touch with an ethical ba bank, the Banca Etica, but uh, uh, it's not easy to, to get funding for this kind of activity. So we are, we are now in a kind of exploratory stage which we are evaluating the possibilities uh, to uh, create on a more uh, permanent basis this kind of uh, mutual aid uh, aimed at supporting uh, uh, local economic activities uh, in this neighborhood. Be because we, we think that, uh, uh, of course, we would like to, to, uh, to attract uh, uh, or in a way to 
uh, to get back to the past where here there were many artisans and this kind of uh, uh, economic activities, but now the reality is that it's very consumption-oriented district. There are still some uh, uh, more, uh, uh, some small manufacturing activities uh, that we want to, to help, of course, uh, but uh, we, we, we don't have uh, any kind of kind of like prejudice towards consumption oriented uh, economic activities for us what is important is that these activities remain locally owned this for us what makes the, the difference rather than the sector itself if this retail trade or production for for us the what is important is that they they, they stay locally owned owned by people who live here rather than being uh, uh, like uh, chains this kind of uh, uh, owned by in uh, uh, multinational companies neighbors like other regions uh, gets funding from as a uh, disadvantaged region uh, gets funding from the European Union and uh, uh, it, the problem is that the European Union supports uh, mostly large-scale uh, uh, projects in infrastructure. So I think we, we should also support a kind of a reversal of perspective, um, emphasizing uh, more investment in uh, people-centered economy. Mm. So on the human infrastructure, rather than this kind of a technocratic uh, uh, approach <coughs> to uh, economic development strategies that is dominant, that is predominant uh, within the European Union. So it's not just a matter of money. Of course, that, that is a big problem, in the, especially in the southern countries. But it's also a matter of uh, uh, the, 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 the kind of economic uh, projects uh, uh, that the public funds, for instance, those from the European Union uh, supports. I think we should uh, really support a, a different uh, conception of the economy. One of it is more uh, people-centered and human-centered based on uh, needs rather than on... Uh, because sustainability can uh, mean everything and nothing. I mean, now uh, sustainability has become uh, a mainstream notion like in Italy and the rest of Europe, but uh, by sustainability it is meant usually uh, mainly this kind of technocratic approach to economic planning and, and uh, spatial planning. Well, I think we should make a difference uh, asking for investment in human infrastructure and uh, small-scale uh, uh, projects. Uh, this, the, the kind of sustainability we, we should support, we should uh, endorse. I think this is uh, very important for me. Thank you. <laughs>